we have the point P equals 2, 3 and the equation of a straight line are 2x minus 4x minus 1 equals 0. We are asked to calculate the distance from P to R. We have two different ways to do it. One of it is having the point P and the R line the distance from a point to a straight line is the smallest distance from the point to the line. This is obtained by dropping a perpendicular by the point so it cuts the given line. Let's call the perpendicular line S. So the distance from P to R is the distance to this point Q and Q is the intersection point between R and S, the perpendicular to R. We have to calculate this perpendicular, but there's also a formula to calculate this distance. And as we aren't asked to do it in a particular way, we'll do it with a formula. The formula says that the distance from P to R is equal to the absolute value of... As we are given the equation of the line in the general form, everything's okay with that. And we have to substitute the point in the equation in absolute value. So we have... 2 times x, which is 2, minus 4 times 3, which is the y, minus 1, divided by the square root of the coefficient of the x square plus the coefficient of the y square. This is, in absolute value, 4 minus 12 minus 1, divided by the square root of 4 plus 16. In the numerator, we would have the absolute value of minus 9, divided by the square root of 4 plus 16, 20. The absolute value of minus 9 is 9, divided by the root of 20. And that's the distance we were asked to find. If we wanted to see it clearer, we could rationalize the denominator or look for the prime numbers of the root. Let's begin with the last thing I've said. The root of 20 is the root of 4 times 5, which is the same as... 2 squared times 5. We can take out of the root the 2 as it is 2 squared and it goes as 2 with no exponent at all. Now we can rationalize the denominator as we have a root in it. To rationalize a fraction is writing an equivalent fraction to the given but with no roots in the denominator. What we have to do is multiply the numerator and the denominator by the root of the denominator because in this case there aren't any sum or subtraction. So, in the numerator we have 9 times the square root of 5 divided by 2 times the square root of 5 square. So 9 times the square root is divided by the square root goes off as it is squared so 2 times 5. That's the same as 9 times the root of 5 divided by 10 and this is the distance we were asked to find. As I said before we can have just left it here or even here and just calculate the decimal expression of the distance with a calculator. 
but the best result as a fraction would be the last one found.